All right, Shock Monster fans, finishing off, finishing off the Sun, Sand, and Sweat 4 movie collection, Blu-rays, Private Resort, Johnny Depp, early film. Let's check it out. Johnny Depp and Rob Morrow play Jack and Ben. Hector Elizondo plays the maestro. Hey, listen to me, I'm sorry, okay? What do they call me? The maestro. That's right, the maestro. Leslie Easterbrook is his wife. He's a bad guy looking to steal some rich woman's diamond. The old broad right now. They're all on vacation at some resort in Florida. Okay, I'll bring it to your room. Are you always this forward with strangers? Only with beautiful women. <laughs> well. So they're in her room, unaware that... Uh, he was supposed to return. Do I hear an echo here? Are you the barber or not? Yeah, I'm the barber. All right, well, let's go. Let's cut the hair. This is a very important job. That's okay. Some hijinks ensues as the wife comes home and, uh... Eventually, a chase ensues when he finds them. And he's missing a good chunk of his hair, too, which becomes an ongoing joke throughout the film. Nobody else complains when other girls wear their bottoms like this. What are you? Some kind of a pervert? Yeah, well, Ben ends up meeting a waitress named Patty. Come on. The woman with the jewel has a lovely granddaughter named Dana. Dana. And Jack has his eyes set on her. The maestro tries to woo the woman with the uh, diamond. Mrs. Rawlings. Guess who's hiding under the tray? I catch that barber. I'm gonna blow his head off. I'm gonna slice him off like a goddamn salami. And a young Andrew Dice Clay as well. I should have known, Kurt. Our first night here, you're already hitting on other girls. There's some more hijinks later when Andrew Dice Clay brings a different girl back to the boys' room. <laughs> but the boys have his girl. One second, honey, honey, I'll be right back. I promise. And uh, Dana has a rival, or I should say, Ben does for Dana's affections. Well, I don't think you understand. I want your diamond. What? Now listen good. I don't want brunch. I don't want romance. I want that diamond. Yeah, then I'm going to lock you in the bathroom. And you can karate the shit out of yourself. How's that sound? Huh? Patty's going to be jealous here, but she doesn't realize that that's Dana, well, uh, Jack's girl. Sorry to interrupt you, too. See ya. You heard? Before he can explain himself, he runs into the maestro, and the chase is on again. Well, to hide, he decided to put himself in some girl's clothes. And apparently he's attractive to him. Chase continues all throughout the hotel. The chase ends up in the girls' locker room, which features several ladies in the shower, which I can't show you. But I can show you the maestro getting beat up. Ben and Patty make up. My 
Maestro hurts his back. The cops are called. Everything's under control. These boys stole a diamond. Batman stole the diamond! That pretty much ends our movie. The couples leave together. Everybody lives happily ever after. All right. Let's talk about Private Resort. Uh, this is a teen sex comedy uh, starring Rob Morrow and Johnny Depp. Early Johnny Depp. I think this was his second movie. Uh, first one was uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Then he made this one, I think. Or maybe it was his third. Actually, I think it was his second. But anyway, it's a young Johnny Depp, and he sure looks it, too. Um, it's basically your typical teen sex comedy from the 80s. There is a lot of boobs in this movie. Um, more than more than you would think, actually. There's, there's plenty of them. There's some male nudity as well. Um... And it's a, basically a jiggle and giggle movie. Um, although it didn't, I don't think it got quite as much recognition as some of the other ones, at least the ones I used to watch, like Private School and uh, uh, Porky's and Fast Times and Joysticks and My Tutor. Um, there was a shitload of these things, Private Lessons, but this one was kind of a little lesser known. But you know what? I think it fits perfectly well within that, that same genre as well because it delivers. Uh, what you want to see is uh, silliness and boobs, and this one has a lot of them. So... The plot here is uh, Rob Moreau and Johnny Depp are two friends. They're going to this resort. Um, I actually don't know where exactly they were. I thought they said, it says Florida here, but I thought at one point I heard the word Jamaica, but it definitely wasn't, in, it was definitely in the U.S., but so we'll, we'll go with Florida. Um, they're at this nice resort, and all they want to do is score with women. That's that's their goal the entire time. Um, they end up getting mixed up with this guy named the Maestro, played by Hector Elizondo. Uh, his wife is Leslie Easterbrook. You might remember her as uh, Sergeant Callahan from the Police Academy movies. Um, and uh, he is trying to steal this jewel uh, that's around this woman's neck, this diamond. That's what he's there for. And so the entire film, he's trying to get that. The boys are trying to get laid. Um, there's a lot of hijinks um, and boobs. And... Uh, that's about it. Ultimately, near the end of the movie, uh, the guy, he briefly does have the diamond, but then he ends up dropping it in the cleavage of Rob Moreau when he was dressed as a woman. A chase ensued. The police eventually arrest him. He was identified as the person who stole the diamond. And each of our stars uh, got a girl. Um, and then it kind of ended with them walking off with them. And that's basically it. Again, there really isn't a whole hell of a lot to go uh, to tell about this movie. I was reading some stuff on IMDb about it said both Rob Moreau and Johnny Depp made a pact with each other that they're going to try to obtain and burn every copy that exists of this movie. Well, you ain't got mine, boys. Um, I, I kind of enjoyed this movie. It's Like I said, it's a silly, sexy farce. And it, like I said, it's perfect for all those movies I used to watch when I was a kid. And it's just like those. So it's just not as well known. But um, I think it should be because I think it's halfway decent, um, at least in terms of what it is. So there you go. It's not going to win any Oscars or anything else like that. But anyway, that's it. So... Private Resort, I think it's available on DVD as well. Um, I'm guessing it's on a Blu-ray as well, in, in addition to this four Blu-ray here from Sun, Sand, and Sweat, which is a pretty darn good collection. The only one I did not review is Perfect, because I don't think that really fit in with this channel that I'm doing here. Um, but uh, I watched that one too. So, But yeah, Spring Break, Hard Bodies, Private Resort. I got this thing for like uh, 9 or $12 or something like that, and I think I got a good deal on it, because I think I've seen it go through more than that. But I know... At least for hard bodies, you can get that relatively cheap if you want a Blu-ray of that. So I'm guessing Private Resort's not that much different. So anyway, that's it. It's cool collection. Private Resort, I'm curious if anybody else has seen Private Resort. I'm sure you have. Let me know what you think about it. A lot of beautiful women in this movie in bikinis and topless and good stuff. So check it out. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think about it. Private Resort. Watch it. Bye.